Welcome to the world of Morigens. Morigens battle by powering up and powering down. Now this is Origin, the first Morigen ever created. Morigens always start as original Morigens. From there, Morigens can power up into many different and stronger forms. When a Morigen loses in battle, it powers down to its previous form. But beware, an original Morigen is destroyed if it loses in battle. Each player's deck has a minimum of 25 Morigens, with no maximum. Both players agree to how many Morigens will have to be destroyed to win the game. Now let's begin, and it's your turn. A turn is divided in three separate phases. First, the draw phase, in which you draw from your deck until you hold five cards. Then comes the play phase. During this phase, you can play Morigens from your hand face up to your side of the board. Stacks usually start with an original Morigen. In this case, Bulgin. Morigens are always played in score mode by default. You can immediately power up your Morigens, so we power up Bulgin into Striker Bully. During your play phase, you can play as many cards from your hand as you like. Finally, we move to the battle phase. Since it's the first turn, you can't battle, so your turn ends. And now it's your rival's turn. They draw up to five cards and play an original Morigen to start the stack. Then instantly powers it up. Since there is no limit to the number of cards you can play per turn, your rival decides to play another Morigen and power it up into a different form. Some Morigens have special effects. For an example, Gagoon can't be attacked for the next two turns. Now, your rival proceeds to its battle phase and attacks Striker Bully with its Dapper Dog. The Morigen with the highest points wins the battle, while the one with the lowest points loses and is sent to the grave. Since both Morigens are in score mode, we can only compare score values. Dapper Dog's score is higher, so Striker Bully loses and is sent to your grave, powering him down into Bulgin again. Each Morigen can attack once per turn, and can attack any Morigen on the board. However, your rival decides not to attack with Gagoon and ends its turn. So now it's your turn again, and you draw until you hold five cards. Next, you play Orbix, an original Morigen with a high alternative score. Remember, Morigens are always played in score mode by default. Luckily, you have Skignedi in your hand, which has a powerful special effect. When played, all stacks switch to alt score mode. This changes the entire dynamic of the match. You attack Dapper Gok with Orbix. Since both are in alt score mode now, we compare their alt scores. Orbix has the higher points, so Dapper Gok loses and is sent to the grave. Powering him down into Gog. You decide to attack Gog with Skignetti. Again, since both are in alt score mode, Skignetti has the higher points. So Gog is sent to the grave. Since Gagoon can't be attacked due to its special effect, and is stronger than your remaining Morigen, you end your turn. Now it's your rival's turn again. And at the start of each player's turn, all that player's Morgens reset to score mode. Your rival attacks Bulgin with Gagoon. Bulgin is still in old score mode, while Gagoon has reset to score mode. Gagoon's points are higher, so Bulgin loses and is sent to the grave. Your rival ends its turn. Now it's your turn again, and your Morgens reset to score mode too. Then you draw up to 5 cards, and the game continues. In a Morigen's match, your rival's grave automatically keeps track of your progress, and vice versa. When either player reaches the agreed number of Morigen's in the grave, that player wins. We wish you and your Morigen's the best of luck in becoming the greatest players in the world, and let the games begin.